Hello gamers, I'm Obi, and this is the best skin for every brawler in Brawl Stars. I'm going to be using Yellow Chips video to see all the skins in Brawl Stars, including the limited time edition ones. The best skin for Shelly is Hoot Hoot Shelly. I know she got Shelly Dancer recently, but this is just such a good skin. The best skin for Nita is Tusk Nita. Even though I don't really think it's worth 300 gems, it's definitely the best one. Colt has so many skins, and a lot of them are great, but in my opinion, the best one is Renegade Mecha Colt. This is just such a nice color scheme, and the animations are amazing. The best bull skin is Alley Cat Bull, in my opinion. I know a lot of people like Bull Mang, but this is the best one in my opinion. The best Brock skin is Zeus Brock, you can't even argue with that. And the best El Primo skin is El Quarterback. Such a good skin, and it's the only 200 gem El Primo skin. Barley has so many good skins, and people might disagree with me, but my favorite one is Bake Sales Barley. For Poco, it has to be Desperado Poco. They came out with CCTV Poco, but I still think Desperado Poco is better. For Rosa, I'm picking Coco Rosa. Again, a lot of her skins are great, but this is my favorite. And for Jesse, even if it didn't come out yet, Scaddy Jesse is my favorite, no question asked. Dynamite has so many good skins, he has 15 skins, but my favorite is Tanku Mike. And the best tick skin is Serbia's tick. I'm gonna get hate for this, but the best 8-bit skin is Saloon 8-bit in my opinion. I know a lot of people love Virus 8-bit, but I just think Saloon 8-bit is better. Rico is final boss Rico, such an amazing skin. And I don't know if this is a hot take, but I think the best Daryl skin is Cupcake Daryl. With the new remodel, Smug Gold Penny is the best one, although she also has a bunch of great skins like Trash Panda and Penny, or the Bunny Pennies. The best Carl skin is one that was released a while ago, but I still think it's Surfer Carl, even though they came out with Sultan Carl. Jackie is still Jet Ski Jackie, even after all the years. For Gus, I chose Balloon Sally. Bo has so many good skins, but I'm gonna give it to Supreme Bo as the best Bo skin. The best M skin is Haraju Harajuku M's, especially for only 80 gems. And even though Jox 2 is such a good skin, I think Headless Riders 2 just still stands as the best 2 skin. Piper might be the hardest to choose so far, but I'm gonna give it to Lunar Piper. For Pam, it's Evil Queen Pam. However, if Stonk's Pam was still 50 gems, I would give it to her, definitely. For Frank, I was actually gonna give it to Spirit Knight Frank. However, this Frank skin has just grown on me so much, and I think it's actually my favorite now. Even with blue and red King Frank coming out soon. For BB, it has to be Thor BB, even though she has so many good skins. The best B skin is Gold Neko B, even though I really like Neko B, but Gold Neko B just has way better animations. Ares Nani, no competition. The best one for Edgar is Mecha Edgar, specifically this color scheme, Unit 01. The other ones could be your favorite depending on your favorite color, but I love this one. For Griff, I'm gonna give it to High Score Griff with his amazing winning and losing animation. This is Grom's best skin, no questions asked. This might be controversial, but I don't really like Impressed Bonnie, especially for the price of 150 gems. I'd actually give her best skin to Unicorn Bonnie. It's only 30 gems, and I think the model fits her really well. I'm not a really big fan of any of Gale's skin, but my favorite one is probably Merchant Gale. It just feels really nostalgic as the first Brawl Pass skin. Colette has so many good skins, but I'm still gonna give it to Trixie Colette. Some people might call me biased, but it's my favorite one. Belle's best skin right now is Cora Belle. She actually has less skins than I thought. She should get a new skin. Ash's best skin is Krampus Ash, especially for the fact that it's only 80 gems. The other good skin is Pinata Ash, but it's 150 gems. Although Lola has so many good skins, I'll give it to Kitsune Lola. Sam's best skin is actually Dark Clown Sam, in my opinion. It's only 80 gems, and the other good one is Caesar Sam, but it's 150 gems. So it's such a good value, especially for the winning animation you get. It's a really hard choice between Hanbok and Magma Mandy, but I'll give it to Hanbok Mandy. I just love her outfit. This is definitely a hot take, but my favorite Maisie skin is Tech Maisie. I just don't really like her other two skins, and I like the colors on Tech Maisie. Hang isn't a hard choice, it's Rodeo Hank. Same thing for Pearl, she only has two skins, and her best one is Periscope Pearl. Larry and Lori are new brawlers, so their best skin is Larry and Lori controllers, their 30 jump skin. However, however, it is leaked that they'll get a futuristic skin, so that will probably take it over. I actually like Angelo's base model more than his 30 gem skin, so I'll give it to his base model. Mortis has so many skins, but I'll give it to Dark Mecha Mortis. It's just such a good skin. I also really like Mecha Mortis. I'm dying on this hill. Tempest Terra is the best skin for Terra. Jean's best skin is Evil Jean. There's not really any competition. And for Max, I'll give it to Hermes Max. 
even though I'd really want to give it to Agent P, Count Pangula is just such a good skin and it is the best Mr. P skin. First Sprout, I'll give it to Lunar Sprout, mainly because of his amazing winning animation. Corrupted Sprout is also really good and has also a really good winning animation, but in game he doesn't look different enough in my opinion. All of Byron's skins are actually pretty good, but I'll give it to Ringmaster Byron. First Squeak, I'm definitely giving it to Nerd Squeak. I love him so much. For Lou, I really want to give it to Riz Lou, but Stone Troll Lou is just objectively better. Even though in my heart, Riz lose on top. Ruff's best skin is Ronin Ruff's. There's no competition. I'm excited to see his recolor actually. And for Buzz, his best skin has been born by Buzz for so long. However, he just got beaten by Ben Rear Buzz. All three color styles look just so good. This one is personally my favorite. Fang skins are all bangers, if I'm being honest, but I'll give it to Kobocha Fang. However, if you choose any of the other skins, I wouldn't blame you, honestly. Eve's best skin is Baiku Eve. If you like Spiky Eve more than this skin, um, I don't know what to say, honestly. For Janet, I'll actually give it to Popstar Janet. It's such a good deal for only 80 gems. The attack, winning, and super animations are all amazing. I also really like Lunar Janet, but it's more than double the price, so I'll have to give it to her. Otis is Oni Otis for sure. W Otis is kind of good, but for the same price, I'd pick Oni Otis every day of the week. I don't really like any of Buster's skins actually, but I'll give it to Crocodile Buster because it's just the best out of all of them. For Grey, I'll give it to Detective Grey. I also like Detective Grey Noir Edition, but normal Detective Grey just is a better skin in my opinion. RT is no competition, I'll give it to Crimson RT. Same thing for Willow, no competition, Scorpion Willow. Doug only has one skin, but it's actually pretty good. Drago Doug is 30 gems and is not bad. For Chuck, it's obviously Desert, <laughs> Scorpion Chuck, Inferno Chuck stood no chance. Same thing for Charlie, Rosie Charlie for sure. Although Amazing Charlie is actually pretty good for the price. For Miko, I'll give it to Wukong Miko. I think it's so cool that he gets different voices. Melody only has one skin, but for 30 gems, I do really like it. Spike has a bunch of good skins, and the best one is Dark Lord Spike. Toon Spike is also pretty good, but it's 300 gems, and I think the best part about a legendary skin is that they get a different voice, and Toon Spike doesn't have a voice, so I don't think it's really worth the 300 gems, although it is an amazing skin, I won't deny that. I think Dark Lord Spike for only 150 gems is better. If anyone comments that I should have put Poop Spike, I'll just be speechless. I don't know what to say. Crow has so many good skins, and some people might argue Crowbone is better, but I'll give it to Phoenix Crow. It's just so cool. For half the price, though, if you don't want to spend that many gems, Crowbone is still an amazing skin. And Captain Crow is also an amazing skin for only 80 gems. For Leon, I'll give it to Radiant Mecha Leon. He has three color styles, but that's my favorite. And Shadow Mecha Leon is also super cool. Sandy's best skin is Sandy Koya, with amazing animation. And for Amber, her best skin is Frost Queen Amber. She's only 150 gems and even got an eliminating animation this update. People keep defending Amber de la Vega, but especially after this update, there's no competition. All of Meg's skins are actually pretty good, but I'll have to give it to Jaguar Spear Meg for her amazing winning animation. Surge is a really hard one, he has so many good skins, but I'll give it to Search Kong. If you disagree, he has a big banana. You can't compete with that. For Chester, I'll give it to Loki Chester. Such a good skin. I'm definitely grinding ranked to get this skin. And finally, we have Cordialis with Odin Cordialis. I'm so excited to buy this skin. It's such a cool skin. Alright, so these are the best skins of every brawler. And make sure to subscribe to see more videos about brawler skins. I'll see you in the next video.